Never trust a big button to smile, that girl is Hey there, all my beautiful people perverts and fucking haters, it's Candy, and I am gagging, y'all, gagging. It's been a hot ass minute since I talked about Trisha Paytas as far as like just talking about Trisha Paytas because I mean she's an icon, okay? Let's be honest, she's a fucking icon. And what's really funny is Trisha Paytas is like my soul sister as far as like I get her. I get her breakdowns, I get the meltdowns, I get the looking for love. She's a little bit more like into romance and all of that than I am like that. But I get being heartbroken, being used, being treated like shit not wanting to be seen with with me i get all of that i've been there i've get i've gotten not someone actually said yesterday okay okay let's let's start okay okay girl so if you don't know trisha paytas and jason nash are officially a couple now at first i think now this is what i think i don't know anything i don't know trisha paytas i've never talked to trisha paytas i would love to be bfs with trisha paytas she could come to florida we could have a great girls time her go back to la i could fly to la but trisha paytas doesn't know i exist so therefore i just do this in my head which i mean let's all be real trisha paytas just i'm just like trisha paytas she's just like me we can't keep friends neither one of us can really keep friends so we'd probably piss each other off after two or three days of hanging out with each other anyhow i digress However, from what I can see, what appears to have happened is her and Jason Nash linked up as far as to do content together. And uh, she's talked about that a lot, about how like the first time he held her hand was only for a vlog kind of thing. And she got like her, because Trisha clings on to guys that, I don't want to say, I mean, because anyhow, Trisha just clings on to guys, relationships, whatever it is. Once again, Trisha's about 10 years younger than me. 10 years ago I get it I get it I needed a three year I took three years off in between my last relationship and Pete before I got into a good place now here's the thing when you're dealing with somebody like me like Trisha I'm not gonna like diagnose her or whatever but um, someone who has some of the mental issues that we have it is hard to deal with us okay as far as being in a relationship with us because some of the things I mean I just I just know and I'm not I mean I just know like I've grown and evolved so much but it takes time guys it took me until 30 or something to grow and evolve so i am so here for this fucking relationship i think jason is so good for trisha i can see the he's so nervous around her and that's because he likes her so much do you understand do you understand that jason nash is the guy that never thought he could get the girl like trisha and you know what I mean by that. Trisha has the look. She has, you know what I mean? She's fun. She's energetic. But you know, there are the negatives that come with that. And I am so happy to see that Jason, instead of just fighting with her or, I mean, we didn't see the, the backstory on that. But what, what, what I did see and what I felt from watching them was that, and, you, and listen, you have to be in a place, like I'm in a place to where I since I am in such a good place and have been in such a good place for like nine years as far as relationship and shit goes, I can see that like you can see genuine glow in other people or when people interact with each other. I think Trisha's a little overbearing because she is insecure and she, you know, whatever. And she's excited, guys. She's so excited. This is the first guy. Listen, I've been watching Trisha Paytas since she started on YouTube, basically, okay? And let me tell you, this is the first guy who publicly is proud to be around her and to be with her. Do you understand that? Like, he walks around with her. He has no problem everybody else wants to hide her or shame her and I understand that I used to be that girl I used to be the girl that everybody would want to hide and shame and not shame they wouldn't publicly like they wouldn't tell me like I I don't want to like walk around with you because you're fat or ugly or obnoxious or loud or the things you wear or whatever the fuck it is although my mom did those things to me but that's here nor there a different video um but I've been in relationships or whatever with guys who would tell you that they were too busy to go do things, but then you would see them out with other people. This is before, like, Snapchat and all that shit, girl. Like, now I can't even imagine. You can't get away with shit anymore, can you guys? But I think we're finally going to see Trisha get her happy ending. I'm not going to say there's not going to be roller coasters. I'm not going to say there's going to be craziness, but my gut sees, like, he really adores her. He really does. He, and other people will type, like, he's so, he's nervous to be, that's so funny. I get that, that, like, he unless he's I get I don't know how to explain it like there's times I'm nervous in front of a camera and other times that I'm very natural okay and when it comes to talking about like he's never talked about those things on online and stuff like as far as I'm so excited for it because they did like a if you don't know they did a boyfriend like an we're officially dating thing and it was like 
the same thing like for 30 minutes like every 10 minutes they would start again and she would like but you could tell she's so genuinely she gets giddy and happy but I feel like she's finally accepted for who she is like she's finally accepted for who she is and I'm telling you guys there is no better feeling than someone who loves you for you hot mess express extra loud boisterous hot mess express and I already say that sometimes whatever it is there is no better feeling than real genuine true love and I really really hope I mean out of the end of the day you can tell Jason Nash is a total genuine dude like you can totally tell he's a genuine fucking dude he actually reminds me a lot of Pete in that aspect so there I, that's why I feel like I'm kind of watching like that unfold and I kind of know like I just feel I don't know I know it's wild I know it's weird I know it's weird to make a dedicated video on Trisha Paytas like this but um, I'm happy for her after all the years of back and forth and torment and your kitchen floor I'm sure she's gonna have kitchen floor crying said I'm not saying she's not it's not like but what I mean is like because listen when you have mental illness guys or you have whatever like that you can have the best guy in the world. You can have all the money in the world. You can have the best things. You can do live the best life. But if you're if you're having a moment, if you're having one of those bipolar whatever ups and downs or whatever, if you don't have somebody who's supportive and somebody who basically will tell you, hey, you just got to work through it. It's anxiety. Get from here to there. I have changed completely so much since I met Pete and how I handle things and how I see things simply because I have somebody like a voice of reasoning whenever I am spiraling. And I think that's what Jason's going to be for Tricia. And for that, I'm so super excited. I'm so super happy. And I'm so super here for it. So do you watch Trisha Paytas? If you don't watch Trisha Paytas, I know one of you guys said that you were looking for a new couple to watch. Go watch Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash because they are the cutest YouTube couple right now in my opinion. And um, I'm excited to see what they bring to YouTube together as a power couple. So that's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you could please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, be nice to each other because remember, nobody likes a fucking asshole. Bye guys. If I was you, I'd wanna be me.